Ben Harper, and we are in the Folk Music Center in Claremont, California. My grandparents started this place 62 years ago. The doors are still open today. At an early age, my grandfather put tools in my hand and taught me how to use them properly, especially when it came to instruments. So by the time I was you know, double digits, 10, 12, I was able to rehead banjos, you know, set up guitars properly and help the store function. How much one individual can, can represent progress is kind of up to history. So I just want to make a contribution and hopefully it can be felt on a, on a sincere level, person to person, human to human, anybody who presses play. And it's interesting having an instrumental record out now because it seems to be communicating something that I never could with words. Where we are, where I'm sitting, is such a huge part of my legacy and a huge, if I can keep this place afloat, it's a tall order. A lot goes into maintaining a mom and pop, never mind a mom and pop music store, we're a museum as well. And getting, getting my kids interested, keeping the community interested, keeping the lights on, period, is, is a, it's a tall order. But if I can keep, keep the lights on and the doors open as they have been for 62 plus years, that would be a huge part of, a, of maintaining a legacy. As far as the music I've made and written, I think Winter is for Lovers is probably the strongest contribution I can make to that legacy because it represents who I am and, and basically my lifelong commitment to an instrument. It's just the fact that I can actually feed myself and my family through my art in my own time. I did that. That's my motherfucking legacy. That's it.